Hello, my name is Samuel Watson, and I'm coming to you from uh, Yagra country on the southern reach of the uh, Brisbane River. So I hope you can understand me. I'm currently in a wheelchair and I'm recovering from uh, an illness. What uh, Fair Trade and the Red Room Company have enabled poets like myself to do, especially in this time of pandemic, is to overcome certain challenges geographically to be able to work with other writers. Today, uh, what myself and my counterpart, Sig Beyond Skarden, are presenting is reflections of our countries that have suffered uh, under colonial regimes and how those colonial regimes through government action and inaction have <clears throat> instilled uh, lifelong issues upon our peoples. I pay respect to uh, Sibion's countrymen, his wonderful homeland of Norway. Sibion is Sami, one of the indigenous peoples of uh, Norway, and he's a great writer. And I met him back in 2004. We uh, performed at the Ridu Ridu Indigenous Arts Festival in Caffeyord. We shared the same publisher from Tromsø, uh, Anders Sobik, and I immediately said to myself, after hearing uh, Sigbion perform his poetry, that this would be a poet that I want to work with in the future. So thank you to the Fair Trade Project. I'm able to bring reflections of my country, which is the scenic rim of southeast Queensland, which was mainly volcanic country. We do suffer uh, from bushfires and natural disaster entailed to countries in a warmer climate. Sigbion, of course, mentions, he opens in his poetry, uh, he's on the lands of the Sami rain, reindeer herders, which is uh, very different to a uh, Manjali country. So please in, enjoy the poetry we have proposed for this project. Look at and listen to the ways we discuss how colonialism has affected both our great nations. So once again, my acknowledgement to the ancestors of those nations. These are nations 
that have always owned their Indigenous identities and we have never relinquished our sovereignty. Working with a very sensitive and serious poet like Sigbjorn, looking at his writing, uh, it's been a lifelong dream to to work with him. Uh, being confined to a wheelchair and in pandemic lockdown, of course, I can't foresee in the future getting back to Norway. Uh, so thank you to the Fair Trade Project and the wonderful people at the Red Ribbon Company. We uh, bring to audiences our reflections of what it is like in a hot and cold environment to to live and practice our cultural heritage of storytelling. So thank you and enjoy.